With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So let's see this question. In this question it is given, the dissociation constant of acetic acid at a given temperature is 1.69 into 10 to the power minus 5. The degree of dissociation of 0.01 molar acetic acid in the presence of 0.01 molar HCl is equals to, right? So you need to find out the degree of dissociation. So you have been given that we know that CH3COOH, which is acetic acid, is a weak acid, and therefore its uh, dissociation constant is given to us, right? So it will dissociate like this, giving you acetate ion. So CH3CO minus plus H plus, right? Now what is given? Let's say its initial concentration is C00 at time t is equal to zero. Then what will be its degree of dissociation? Let's say that alpha is the degree of dissociation. You can say alpha is the degree of dissociation. So what you will say? That it will be C into 1 minus alpha and this will be C alpha and this will be C alpha after let's say after time t. If it, if it has dissociated by alpha degree of dissociation and it will be C into 1 minus alpha. This will be C alpha and it will be C alpha. Right. Now. So uh, now what is important here that you uh, can write down the dissociation constant expression that is the Ka that is going to be equals to the concentration of product by reactant CH3CO minus into H plus concentration divided by CH3COOH concentration right. So finally you can write it like this C alpha into C alpha divided by C into 1 minus alpha. But here you have written the concentration of H plus as C alpha. But let's see what happens if HCl is present. So HCl on complete dissociation, HCl is going to give you complete dissociation will occur here. So its alpha value is actually 1 because complete dissociation has occurred. It's a strong acid, mm -hmm. so complete dissociation has occurred. So what you are going to say that if it was 0 point something, it is given that the initial concentration is 0 0.01, then it is 0 0.01, it is 0, 0 initially. But when complete dissociation will occur, the concentration of H plus will be 0.01. Now, in presence of, you need to note down this, this is the most important concept, that in presence of strong acid, the contribution of, the contribution of H plus concentration, you will write the contribution of H plus concentration will be only from will be only from strong, will be considered only from strong acid since H plus concentration from weak acid is negligible. Weak acid is negligible. Negligible. So what I mean to say here that in presence of any stronger acid such as HCl, H2SO4, so the H plus concentration will be considered from that stronger acid only because the H plus concentration from the weak acid is negligible. So we will only consider the H plus concentration from stronger acid. So while writing this Ka expression here, the concentration of H plus can directly be written instead of C alpha. Instead of C alpha, you can directly write on 0.01 molar. That is the concentration of H plus because just now I have told you that because uh, the weak, it is a weak acid, uh, so its uh, H plus concentration can be considered negligible. So what you can say, you can directly say that the concentration of H plus will be concentration of H plus will be 0.01 molar. So from here, what will be the expression of K? This expression will be C alpha into 0 0.01, right? Whole divided by C into 1 minus alpha. This was only the expression. Just we have replaced this H plus concentration with 0 0.01. Rest other will remain the same. So from here, what you will get this C and C will cancel out. So you can easily get that alpha by 1 minus alpha into 0 0.01. That is equals to K. Now dissociation constant of the acid is given to us as 1.69 into 10 to the power minus 5. This is the dissociation constant of the acid. So you can say very well that uh, 1.69 into 10 to the power minus 5. This is only 1.69 into 10 to the power minus 5. This is equals to K is equals to alpha into 0 0.01 divided by 1 minus alpha. Now it is it is considered it is considered that considered that the degree of dissociation alpha is very very smaller than 1. So what you can say, you can say that 1 minus alpha will negligibly be equals to 
1 since alpha is very very smaller than 1 it is in the power of 10 to the power minus something so it's very very smaller than 1 so that's why it is considered almost uh, negligible to 1 uh, uh, almost equals to 1 so that's why uh, what you have uh, what will be this e equation will become so what this equation will become this value 1 minus alpha can further be written almost equals to 1 so this equation will be 1.69 into 10 to the power minus 5 that is equals to alpha into 0 0.01 divided by 1 right so from here the value of alpha that is the degree of dissociation will come out to be 1.69 into 10 to the power minus 5 divided by 0 0.01 which can also be written as 1.69 into uh, 10 to the power minus 5 divided by how much it will be 1 by 100 or you can say this uh, uh, numerator will be multiplied by 10 by 2 since it is it is 10 to the power 1 by uh, this will be 1 this can be written like this 1 by 100 so this 100 will go in the numerator so you can write down like this right so finally your answer will be your answer will be 1.69 into 10 to the power minus 3 and this is only the alpha that is the degree of dissociation you can see it's very very smaller than one that's why we have considered this value as one so 1.69 into 10 to the power minus 3 this is only the required answer that is the degree of dissociation when hcl was added into the solution of acetic acid right so this was asked the degree of dissociation in the presence of the hcl that is equals to which option is correct 1.69 into 10 to the power minus 3 right so 1.69 into 10 to the power minus 3 you can see that option 3 is the correct choice so we'll write here that option 3 is correct right i hope you have understood thank you very much for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today